Since I got um, transferred to this station about three years ago, um, what I came to meet was uh, the station was in bad condition to the point that uh, you have uh, pigeons and rat bats living in the ceilings, cockroach, you know, and um, while at work you have the, the scent from because of the rat bats droppings, you know, and that they it, it really um, messed up you when you're at work and due to where we had this confined space, you know, the, the space limited so you really can't get out and, you know. In the past 20 years or 30 years or more that I have known, the Benkeview Fire Station has been uh, left uh, behind and with at looking at this and the new renovation that we have been having here, I think the people of Benke would be happier and the firefighters will be on a better mood to work. The department changed the entire roof, new brand roof, um, paint over the station where they got to a standard color for the station now, you notice it's, it's green and red. The location of the OC office, we put, put it from inside the station to the other side of the station, so it's separate now, you know, so we have our own space, more, more open here, um, work area, you know, so um, it's it, it really good now because you feel like you, you could breathe better, you know, you could be, be with all the space and everything we have. Uh, we could train more more um, freely with, without a lot of things in our way, you know. So um, that one really, that one really, that one really big upliftment for the Benke Fire Station, you know, because for years this station um, never get touched. They will get an ambulance, um, hopefully in the next month or two. If there's a road traffic accident, for example, the truck would go, they use the jaws of life, they'll cut you out of your vehicle and they'll just put you on the ground, right? And who knows how you get to the, the hospital. Let's say you're at home or your parents and they fall down or they can't move or there's a stroke, you call them, they will come. It's an additional service to the community, right? We, have, we can't just still be just firemen. We have to keep pushing and expanding all the, the, the training that we have. It is um, our commitment in Plan Belize to make sure that we better our country, better the services and the conditions of our public service. The conditions that this department was in uh, at that time to where it is now, I mean, this is just the beginning.